hello, hello. I'm Sir Baby Girl. This is my baby girl Sprout. Um, and we are here to talk shit about music. I'm gonna take you through my 10 track playlist of uh, songs that simply deserve to be uh, incorporated into the algorithm much, much more. Um, the first the first track I will speak of is The Bitch of Living from Spring Awakening. I don't know if you've ever heard, uh, they're kind of a, they're kind of a DIY underground band. Um, yeah, really great stuff. But yeah, no, I think that just in general, like musical theater should absolutely be popping up in random places. Um, on Spotify, just because I think it'd be funny first, and second of all, because some of it's really good, uh, including this song, and uh, The Bitch of Living is, uh, if you want to, um, if you want something really good for your next mental breakdown, you know, the next one of the day, the next one of the week, whatever, this song will do it to you. Um, yeah, it's uh, amazing, also like, Iconic that Duncan Sheik of I am barely breathing yeah, da, da, da. Uh, He wrote this whole whole fucking musical like can we talk about it? Can we talk about it? Can we talk about it? Um, I would love to pull a Duncan Sheik and write a horny teen musical one day, too So very inspiring for me. Also, I got to see the uh, touring cast with my mother Yes, I did do that, and we did that together, and we experienced that together in the third row, and um, and it, and it, it was a. I have a cool mom. I have a, I have a chill mom. Um, the second song I want to take you to is "Strawberries" by Y. Um, y is just you know, I don't even know what underrated is anymore because it's so the, the me. Everything is so disparate that like there's a million superstars that none of us know about and then some of us know about and like So it's like underrated. I don't even really know what that word means anymore um, Because like so like most things are underrated at this point um, Why is an overrated band like I feel like they should be up in the classics like they Yoni Wolf's lyrics are Whenever I'm feeling stuck in my lyricism, I'll listen to uh, Hole or I'll listen to why. Um, Yoni Wolf lyrics are unparalleled. Amazing. Um, so, so full of ugliness that, uh, just the ugly, the human ugliness of his lyrics, I like could not relate to more. The like pervy man, I kind of feel like a pervy man sometimes. There's like that vibe. This song is a really beautiful departure though from their like typically emo stuff. Um, and it's more, it's kind of, it's still emo at all, but like, this one's like, this one's, this will make you like, feel better when you're having a shitty day and you don't want to wallow, you want to like, you need a hug and you want to like, push pat, push forward. Um, and then, okay, Keep On by Softy, who is, uh, an incredible musician uh, a lovely friend of mine. Yes, I'm biased. Um, and we all are. Um, so I'm gonna use my bias for good. She is fucking incredible. Um, she produces, she writes, produces all her own shit. Her production skills are insane. Um, and I happened to pop into her little studio when she was working on this song and I helped her with the the hook um but I can't take any any credit past just like smoking a joint and like singing into the mic and coming up with a hook um hey you keep on you keep on changing when I'm not looking yeah you keep on keep on changing when she's shy check out softy she should absolutely be streamed more she's independent like actually not fake independent she's real independent um so fucking stream that bitch um and then the last time i'll talk mm, okay i have two more that i'll talk about 
um, bust your windows, the Glee version, and that is not against Jasmine Sullivan. Her, she will always be superior, but I just think that <laughs> bust your windows, the Glee cast version, I would love to see that just pop up on, you know, people's Discover Weekly. I just, I want to see that. <laughs> I want to see more of that. Um, nothing else from Glee, simply just that. Um, and then, oh man, um, okay. The last one I'll talk about is Short Skirt, Long Jacket, Lesbian Anthem, written by a man. Um, Cake is so iconic. Cake is the number one band that got me through quarantine. Again, lyricism is a fucking one. And it's like one of the only, you know, group of men that I am like fairly enamored with. Um, this song is amazing. You probably have heard it, but maybe you haven't. And if you've only heard this song, listen to the rest of Cake. Like, I swear you will be comforted by their optimistic cynicism, uh, I think. Um, so yeah, those are my picks. And uh, I hope you enjoy listening to my dark, beautiful, dark, twisted playlist. Oh my, the drama. The drama. Yeah, um, thanks for having me, Slender Meg. Mwah, 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 mwah.